All right, I'm gonna reprove the lie that he who has the most stuff wins, or, you know, he who has the most uh, money is, uh, the, is the cool, is the best one, or something like that. <laughs> but, um, re I'm gonna go to a Luke 12 for this one. Luke chapter 12. Verse 15. Um, and he said unto them, them being the, uh, uh, I don't know, okay, but I'm going to read it. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Okay? A man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. This is Luke chapter 12, and I just read verse 15 here. Um, but now I'm now listen to what these, these next verses are saying. What Jesus is saying next. And he spake a parable unto them saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have, in room, I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose, whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. And that is Luke chapter 12, verse, uh, starting in verse 15 and going to uh, verse 21. And uh, <clears throat> this idea that he who has the most money or he who has the most cars, he who has the most um, anything is like the winner or the best one, the, the uh, you know? And the Bible right there directly, Jesus said that is man's life consists of not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And you know, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, but, and our sins deserve eternal separation from God in hell far. That should cause you to be afraid. That is a cause of fear. Are you guilty of doing this? Of being deceived into thinking this? Uh, hear me out now. I'm not, I'm gonna tell, I'm giving you, I'm gonna give you good news here, okay? But let me first of all tell you the bad news here. Um, are you guilty of believing this lie? And are you guilty of laying up for yourselves treasures upon this earth? And. And if you are, um, it's wicked what you're doing, and you need to stop. And I have good news. The good news is that Jesus Christ paid the pride, the penalty you deserve for that sin, which is eternity in hell separated from God. He did not. He did not turn. Don't get me wrong. He didn't eternally suffer. He's not eternally suffering. God forbid. Um, he is not eternally suffering hell, but he took the just punishment. He was sinless. He was he, Jesus Christ was God in the flesh, and he was lived a sinless life, and he died upon the cross for to pay the punishment that we deserve. The wrath. He was forsaken by God at the cross, 
and his punishment is the only substitute for our eternal punishment in hell, separated from God and being punished by God for et uh, eternally as punishment from God. The blood of Jesus Christ being shed upon the cross. His death, okay? Jesus Christ's death upon the cross. And he was buried and he rose back, he, he died upon the cross. He, his blood was shed upon a cross. He was crucified. That's the way he died. And that was prophesied in the Old Testament. So, he was buried and he rose again and he is risen from the dead. He's alive right now. Jesus Christ is alive. He, he is risen from the dead. And he is on the right hand of God. And uh, God has appointed a day in which he shall judge the world in righteousness by him, by Jesus Christ, whom, he, whom God hath ordained to be the judge of the quick and the dead. And the and God the Father, God the Son, God the Father, God the Son, being Jesus Christ and God the Holy Spirit are one. Um, and so that's what I'm saying. God Himself came into flesh and He died for our sins. He died upon the cross. And He was raised, Jesus Christ was raised by the Father. Ray, he was raised from the dead. God hath ra God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And He's alive. And that is the truth. Even if we don't believe it, that's what happened. And he's alive right now. And I'm just saying, believe that. The Bible says, if, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth in thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Um, so, you know, the first thing is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Believe that God has ra hath raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And so... Here's the Bible. This is the King James Bible. Open it up to the book of John and just start reading. This is uh, this is what's going to show you what's going on today. If you want to look at all the wickedness that's happening, um, just look at the Bible. And it it, it's just, it didn't just start recently. Obviously, didn't just recently start happening like this, but it keeps gradually getting worse and worse, very subtly. And uh, the man man's heart is evil from his youth. Uh, and it's the nature of man. We're, the Bible says we're by nature the children of wrath. The Bible says that he that believeth not the Son, the wrath of God abideth on him. And you don't want to die in that state of the wrath of God being on you. Uh, and I'm just saying, believe the gospel, call upon the name of the Lord. You know, believe, the, believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And uh, eternal life is to know means to know what is eternal life it's to know Jesus is to know the true God and Jesus Christ whom he hath sent the book this is the King James Bible open it up and read the book of John and uh, it's what it is